All right, today we are going into the state of Georgia, the city is Atlanta. Uh, today we're going to talk about Morehouse College. Morehouse College is an HBCU, historically black college university. It's all men's college and it has a very good reputation of having strong students and developing uh, men and scholars, you know, for decades now. Now, Morehouse College is in Atlanta, which is in Georgia, which is in the South. Now, the interesting thing is, is that you'll notice that the South has a lot of HBCUs because this is where a lot of concentration of blacks were back in the day. And you'll find a lot of them, um, a lot of those colleges in the southern states. Now, Morehouse College is probably one of the most um probably say one of the most recognizable colleges for men in America. And there's only several schools that are just for men in America and Morehouse College is one of them. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go into um, Morehouse College and figure out uh, some expenses and things that we feel that you should know before you attend all right now just let you know that morehouse college is a private college which means that it's the same fee throughout the board and we'll go into and take a look at it right now now for a quick overview uh, ranks 124 in national liberal arts colleges that's an urban setting uh, tuition fees Tuition fees are probably about 28000 for the year. Uh, that's not including room and board, but with room and board, staying on campus, food, and everything, we're talking about $52,000, right? $52,000, which isn't that bad. But, of course, like I always say, we always have to make sure we figure out where we can go find the money for that. Undergraduate enrollment, a little over 2,500 students, 65% acceptance rate. Uh, now, Morehouse College, you can apply to it through the Common App, so you can save yourself a little bit of, of time on that one. Um, now, what we're going to do, we also, we have a $50 application fee. Uh, application deadline's February 13th, and uh, February 15th, sorry, but as I said, for international students, please make sure that you apply earlier, all right? I also uh, implore you to go to Morehouse website and get more information about the school and missions and everything like that. I'm just giving you a basic rundown of what I know, okay? Now, so uh, Athletic Associations, NCAA Division Two, and we'll go into that uh, in one of the videos as well. We're gonna break down uh, you know, the National Collegiate Athletic Association. Uh, basically, that's a division where they play sports in. Alrighty. Now, um, they do uh, have a limited amount of scholarships for students, but so I would definitely check with admissions about that. Now, we're going to go to their website right now, and right now we're going to jump right to the International Student Services uh, section. And uh, basically, the Office of International Student Services is the primary resource office for international students. So if you're an international student or an uh, upcoming uh, international student, you definitely want to check this out. All right. It goes into a checklist of what's needed for coming for international students. Um, the arrival checklist, and you find a lot of schools have this. They have what you call like a arrival checklist for students that uh, will be coming there for the semester. And it's pretty much lists here, pretty much what, uh, what do you need. Um, it goes into other issues in terms of visas and, and tax requirements and things like that as well. Now, Morehouse College has quite an array of academic programs. So we'll check and see. Let's look at the majors they have here. 
So we see all the way from Africana studies to business administration to Chinese studies to computers to communication studies. Um, a lot of different programs, some majors and some minors. Um, but, you know, pretty much you get a well-rounded education at Morehouse. All right. Now, here's interesting. An, an, an interesting fact here. Uh, actually, Morehouse is the only HBCU in the U.S. to offer both a major and minor in Chinese studies. And with what's going on in China these days, it's probably a good idea to know a little bit of Chinese. So this is one of the um, one of the uh, strong points of Morehouse. Probably one of the more the most famous alum to come out of Morehouse is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., uh, which was uh, who was a very influential civil rights leader. He was assassinated in the '60s and. Uh, you could do a little bit of research on him on your own if you don't know about him, but most people around the world know who he is. But, you know, you could do your, your own research. I definitely would say do your own due diligence when you're applying to Morehouse, like everywhere else, if it's for you, if it's not. Uh, I would also say do an, um, do a search on Atlanta and the city and the state of Georgia to find out a little bit what it's like to live there and things like that. Morehouse is an urban setting, and Atlanta is a thriving uh, multicultural city with a lot of things that are going on there. So that is one good thing about it. It is in the South, and I feel that the people in the South in America are great people, great hospitality, um, very welcoming to people. And this is my personal experience. So why don't we do this? Once we're finished, if you feel that you want to apply, to Morehouse College check the common app hit yes and then go and apply and see what's available as always check to see what money you can get on the outside the inside we're trying to send you guys to school with the pit without paying any money stop complaining this is a man's game